Think back to your earliest memories of the silver screen, the era when black and white flicks illuminated the theaters and brought characters to life in a way that felt both timeless and captivating. Among those faces that etched themselves into the annals of cinematic history is Jean Parker. Whether you recall her from a late night movie marathon or stumbled upon her work while exploring classic films, there's a good chance her presence left an indelible mark on your film-loving heart. Now, let's delve into some random facts about Jean Parker, shedding light on the lesser known aspects of her life and career. From her intriguing beginnings to the anecdotes that added layers to her legacy, there's much to discover about this enigmatic actress. So, without further ado, let's uncover the captivating journey of Jean Parker through the lens of time. Jean Parker, the Hollywood star with a green thumb in the golden age of Hollywood, amidst the glamour and spotlight, a star's hidden talents often remained veiled. Jean Parker, renowned for her enchanting performances, held a secret that intertwined her with the silver screen in an unexpected way. Behind the scenes, Jean's mother, then known as Mildred Brenner, was an unsung artist at MGM. She graced iconic films like National Velvet, Forbidden Planet, and Raintree County with her touch. Working in the set department, Mildred's creations of magnificent flowers, trees, and other greenery breathed life into the cinematic world. Her exquisite craftsmanship adorned the backdrop of beloved tales, yet she treated it as a personal endeavor. Despite her undeniable talent, Mildred kept her lovely creations confined to the realm of hobby, choosing to remain modest in her role. What remained lesser known was the fascinating lineage that shaped Jean's family. Her mother, a daughter of the pioneer era, emerged from a sprawling family of 18 natural siblings. The echo of her lineage resonated through Jean's own journey, perhaps infusing her with a resilience that carried her through the ebbs and flows of Hollywood's demanding spotlight. While Jean Parker's name is etched in the annals of Hollywood history for her captivating performances, her family's legacy of creativity and perseverance adds a rich layer to her story. From the roots of a pioneer heritage to the subtle strokes of a green-thumbed artist, Jean Parker's narrative transcends the cinematic frame, unveiling a tale of unspoken talents and deep-seated connections. Jean Parker, a hidden identity and enduring legacy unveiling a captivating chapter of Hollywood's golden age. Newly uncovered records from the 1930 federal census have shed light on Jean Parker's enigmatic origins. Contrary to the spotlight's narrative, her birth name was Lois M. Green entering the world around 1917 in the picturesque landscapes of Montana. This revelation paints a different portrait of the starlet, making her a mere 16 years old when she embarked on her cinematic journey. While her early years remain shrouded, it's Parker's latter days that etch a poignant mark on her story. The motion picture in Television Country House and Hospital in Woodland Hills, Los Angeles, became her haven from 1998 until her final moments. It was there that Parker succumbed to complications stemming from a stroke she bravely endured. This tranquil abode, nestled in the heart of the entertainment world, became her last stage, echoing with the memories of a life well lived. Parker's talents weren't confined to the silver screen alone. She harbored a creative spirit that extended to designs crafted for herself. Beyond the roles and accolades, she sewed the threads of her own style, leaving an indelible imprint on the fashion zeitgeist of her era. Jean Parker's legacy, a tapestry woven with hidden beginnings and steadfast resilience, continues to captivate the imagination. Her journey from the unassuming Montana landscapes to the glitzy realm of Hollywood, and finally to the motion picture and television country house, stands as a testament to the enduring spirit of those who find their place in the annals of history. Jean Parker, a glimpse into the enigmatic life of Hollywood star in the glitzy realm of Hollywood's golden age. Jean Parker stood as a beguiling figure, her life entwined with both the silver screen and the enigmatic intrigues behind closed doors. Beyond her on-screen performances, Parker's off-screen story remains a tapestry of anecdotes, including her intriguing connection to her fourth husband, Robert Lowry, a tale that defies conventions. Parker's marriage to Robert Lowry held an unusual anecdote that raised more than a few eyebrows. As a gag, Lowry introduced Parker to the notorious Sally Stanford, a name synonymous with scandal and intrigue. Stanford's reputation as a madam in California lent an air of scandal to this union, painting a portrait of Parker far removed from her screen roles. This curious introduction encapsulated the unexpected, a theme that seemed to characterize Parker's life. 
The bond between Parker and Lowry, though marked by its unconventional beginnings, endured for six years. However, it wasn't without its trials. In 1957, after a half dozen years of marriage, Lowry filed for divorce, a move that foreshadowed the unraveling of their union. The divorce, despite being initiated, never reached its conclusion before Lowry's passing in 1971, leaving a tale of unfinished business and a marriage suspended in time. Lowry's passing was a somber punctuation mark on Parker's life story. The actor's demise at the age of 58, attributed to heart failure, brought an end to the unorthodox chapter he and Parker had penned together. Despite its unconventional beginnings and tumultuous trajectory, their union remains an intriguing piece of Hollywood history, a glimpse into the lives that thrived amidst the glamour of the silver screen. Gene Parker, a name that resonates beyond the confines of film reels, leaves behind a legacy that defies categorization. Her tale serves as a reminder that life, even in its most star-studded moments, can be an enigma woven with threads of the unexpected. Gene Parker, a small-town star who shone bright on Hollywood stage with roots tracing back to Kirksville, Moe, and Clorinda, Aya, Gene Parker, a luminary of the silver screen, captured hearts with her timeless performances. Born as Lois Me Green on August 11, 1915, in Deer Lodge, Montana, Parker's journey to stardom was marked by her familial ties to the heartland. Parker's upbringing in Kirksville and Clorinda provided the foundation for her later success. Her family's Midwestern heritage not only instilled in her a strong work ethic, but also nurtured her passion for the arts. As she blossomed into a young talent, her ambitions drew her to Hollywood's glittering lights. Making her debut in the 1933 production of Outward Bound, Parker's prowess as an actress quickly gained recognition. She portrayed a range of characters across genres, captivating audiences with her authenticity and depth. Beyond her on-screen accomplishments, Parker also made her mark as one of the models decorating a float in the Pasadena Tournament of Roses Parade, showcasing her versatility beyond the silver screen. Throughout her career, Parker's roles continued to showcase her remarkable talent, earning her a place among Hollywood's elite. Her ability to infuse characters with life and emotion led to memorable performances in films like Little Women and Sequoia. Her presence on screen was marked by a rare sincerity, drawing audiences into the world she inhabited. While her career extended beyond the 1930s, it was during this period that Parker's star burned brightest. Her Midwest upbringing remained a cornerstone of her identity, a testament to the values that shaped her. Although she left behind the small towns of Kirksville and Clorinda, their influence continued to shine through in her work. Jean Parker's legacy endures, a testament to the enduring impact of her performances and the foundation provided by her family's heartland roots. Her journey from a small town upbringing to Hollywood's grand stage showcases the power of determination and talent, reminding us that even the brightest stars can trace their origins to humble beginnings. Jean Parker, a legacy of Hollywood and motherhood in the golden era of Hollywood, amidst the glitz and glamour, one name stood out with timeless grace, Jean Parker. Renowned for her elegant presence on and off screen, Parker's life was interwoven with both the silver screen and the joys of motherhood. While her cinematic achievements painted a vivid picture, it was her role as a mother that added a personal touch to her narrative. Jean Parker shared a son, Robert Lowry Hanks, born in 1952, with her late husband Robert Lowry. This connection to the world beyond the spotlight revealed a woman of depth beyond her on-screen roles. Yet, it was her involvement in the arts that first catapulted her into the public eye. In 1932, she clinched victory in an art poster competition celebrating the upcoming Los Angeles Olympic Games. This triumph not only showcased her artistic prowess, but also earned her an invitation to be part of the event, an honor bestowed upon few. Jean Parker's journey echoed the aspirations of an era and resonated with the nuances of human experience. Her artistry, her devotion to family, and her connection to the Olympic spirit marked her as a symbol of resilience and creativity. As time flows on, her legacy endures, a testament to the multifaceted nature of a woman who thrived both on celluloid and in the heart of her family. Remembering Jean Parker is to embrace the stories that shaped her, each chapter contributing to the mosaic of her existence. She remains an exemplar of strength, talent, and the unbreakable bond between a mother and child. 
Gene Parker unveiling the woman behind the designs amid the glitz and glamour of Hollywood's golden age. A multifaceted talent emerged, leaving an indelible mark not only on the silver screen, but also on the world of fashion. Jean Parker, known for her enchanting on-screen presence, held a lesser-known role as an accomplished clothes designer. Her creativity extended beyond the confines of the silver screen, and her designs graced not just the bodies of others, but her own as well. Born Lois M. Green in Montana around 1917, Jean's early years hinted at the ingenuity that would later define her career. By the time she was 16, she had already embarked on a journey that blended her love for acting and design. According to the 1930 federal census, this young talent's passion wasn't confined to the spotlight. Her nimble hands sought expression through fabric and form. It was in her own creations that Jean Parker truly shone. Her wardrobe became a canvas, a reflection of her impeccable taste and individuality. In an era when many stars relied on professional designers, Parker's insistence on crafting her own attire set her apart. Each outfit became a statement, an extension of her personality, and an exploration of her artistic prowess. While history often paints Hollywood's leading ladies in a particular light, Jean Parker defied convention by demonstrating her mastery in multiple realms. Her designs, both for herself and others, showcased an innate talent that transcended the confines of the big screen. As the lights of Tinseltown dimmed and the pages of history turned, Jean Parker's legacy endures, reminding us that beneath the glamour, there lies a world of unexplored stories and talents waiting to be unveiled.